You're putting comic books in the class time capsule? Yep. As a collector of fine popular culture, this is my contribution to future generations. Nobody will care about your faded old comic books when they see this. What's in the cage, George? Can't say. It's a surprise. What is Mona contributing? Her collection of vampire slime and ghost fangs? Uh, that's ghost slime and vampire fangs, Angela. Whatever. A nice gesture, Clifford, but I don't think your dog would be an appropriate contribution to the time capsule. All right, who'd like to make the next addition to our year 3000 time capsule? Uh... Okay, George. I've got the coolest thing for the capsule, Miss Gatto. Ta-da! But... But he was right here. My lizard. Lizard? I don't get it. <clears throat> How inventive. Well, perhaps while you're looking for it, we'll have... Oh, oh. Angela! Yes, let's see what's in Angela's pretty box. I want everyone in the future to remember me as a famous collector of precious dolls. Hmm. Now, this one is Chicky. She only speaks when you pull the cord on her back. I wish Angela worked like that. I love you, Angela. She was personalized just for me. This is Mitzi Munchalot, who actually eats real food. And that's my 101st doll. My next one. Thank you so much, Angela. That's all the time we have for today. That was the creepiest display of gratuitous wealth I've ever seen. Now it's time to work on your independent study projects. Aww. Put all the remaining items for the capsule on my desk, and we'll finish those presentations tomorrow. <gasps> Check this out. saw what we saw, didn't we? My vampire senses are tingling. Those dolls are alive. I'd bet my bat wings on it. <laughs> now who on earth would do this? There's nothing earthly about this crime, Miss Gatto. The explanation is simple. These dolls came to life last night. I'll get to the bottom of who is responsible for this caper. to be tossed around, but mine do not. Your dolls are alive. You're weird. All right, everyone, open up your class journals and get into your writing groups. Keep an eye on those dolls. First sign of trouble, 
and we're on him. Seats, please. Why don't you two go outside and get some fresh air? Living dolls, indeed. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Don't touch anything. Now's our chance. Tell me you have a plan. Got you. Charlie, help me keep this lid down. <laughs> Missed me. <laughs> Quick, Charlie, toss me that doll. Thank you, Charlie. How very thoughtful of you. I trust that neither of you have been touching things which don't belong to you. No, no Miss Gatto. Find anything on living dolls yet? Nothing yet. Maybe we should ask Angela about them. Angela may be one of them herself. Did you see how much that chicky doll looked like her? Here's something. To deanimate a living doll, you must identify and neutralize its power source. What part of chicky is the power source? Hmm, that's a good question. Let me see. About. Oh, it's only my robot babysitter. <sighs> yes, robot babysitter says less screaming, more cleaning. <laughs> Seriously, Mona, you'd better clean up this bedroom before your folks get home. And close the window, it's cold in here. The coast is clear. My android babysitter Belinda must have scared them off. dolls come to life. If you don't like it, just remove the batteries. Of course! That's it! The batteries are their power source. Yep, and I have an idea. her. Miss Gatto, my doll! I know, Angela. I read about it in the paper. Your dolls are being recalled by the factory because of faulty wiring that may cause them to walk on their own or spin their heads around. See? They weren't alive, Mona. It's just a malfunction. Well, how do you explain the bite mark in Miss Gatto's apple? He 
Santa was the one causing all the trouble. He may have even put that doll in your bag, Mona. Well, I guess our mystery has been solved. Explain it how you like. I know what I saw. Hey, one of my dolls is still missing. Mitzi Munchalot. Where is she, Mona? Hmm. That's a very good question. <laughs>